on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Five and 11 last year, coming off of uh, basically an AFC championship, I guess, appearance, right? They, they lose to the Patriots there. Uh, to win the division this year, they are plus 500. Their strength of schedule, number 10. Uh, turnover margin, they were 30th last year. That is third worst at minus 12. Head coach is Doug Maroney. Uh, we liked him when he got hired uh, midseason a couple of years ago. Sure. Eight wins is the over-under. Plus 100 is the juice on the over. Minus 120 is the juice on the under. As far as yards per play, number 30 in the league on offense last year. Averaged 4.8 yards per play. Their offensive coordinator, they have hired Minnesota OC John DeFilippo. They signed quarterback Nick Foles. They got rid of Blake Bortles. They drafted right tackle Jawan Taylor from Florida. On defense, they were number five in the league. We we talked about, you know, uh, maybe they're not as good as they they were. It was it was mainly offense last year. Oh no, the offense, offense was turning terrible. the ball over, offense um, not being able to produce anything really. Defensive coordinator is Todd Walsh. They signed linebacker Jake Ryan. They drafted linebacker defensive end Josh Allen from Kentucky, who. I really think might have been the best player in the draft. Yep. I mean, he's he's that unbelievable. I completely agree with that. They are a projected favorite in only three games this year. I think they're they're going to win more than that. I've got them at seven and nine. I trust Maroney as a head coach. I like the team. Uh, they were really bad on offense last year. I think Foles makes less mistakes than Bortles did. Oh, not just um, less mistakes. He's going to make plays that Bortles I think, yeah, can't I think, make. I think he will make plays. Um, so I like Nick Foles here. I don't think that Foles turns them into a Super Bowl contender immediately. No, no, no. no. They've got growing to do. But but I do like the moves that they made on defense. I like the the changing on offense. I don't know how much I trust DiFilippo as the offensive but, coordinator. But Doug Marone's going to call plays. Um, but no, DiFilippo's calling plays. Mm. That's what they say. I know. I mean, we'll see. I know. I'll be so, shocked if that happens. DeFilippo got fired last year in the middle of the season. Yeah. I've, so I've I, got him at seven and nine. Okay. So this is one of those weird situations. If you watched our other previews, I brought this up at least once. Fill out a little graph. Shows you all the games. I literally fill this thing out. Wins and losses. Teams I think will win a game. Teams I think I don't win a game. Whatever. Don't look at the record. When I'm completely done with all 32 teams... I write down how many wins the team has, how many teams left. This is not a good science. It's a terrible way to do this. I think this team's going to be an 8-8 eight eight team. I, I believe they're right there in the mix of every game. I don't think they get blown out a lot. I think they're a well-coached team. I think they're going to play hard. I think they're run, they've boosted that offensive line. I think Leonard Fournette has a healthy year, and, and, and he's older. He's more mature. He's, he's showing up for training camp, and he looks great. He dropped some weight. He's gotten faster. Like I like this team. My record that came out when I did my little Mickey Mouse science here was five and eleven. I'm 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 a hundred percent positive. Hear me when I say this. I'm a hundred percent positive. They're gonna be better than five and eleven. I just know how football works. I think these guys are good. Yeah, I do. So I have I have no idea what to give as my official pick. I'm probably gonna go in the middle. I'll say seven and nine. I'm okay. Gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a game from what I thought because my little experiment. I mean, it's a what in the science I wanted it's it to a, be. It's a difficult schedule. It's a tough schedule. It's a, but this is a tough team. It's a tough team. Agreed. Agreed. I mean, Tom Coughlin's still running this team. Yes. And that is, you might like him or hate him. He's a tough sob. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. So we both got seven and nine. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. That's my official pick. All right, seven and nine. That sounds good to me. Far cry from my science. Yes. Well, I mean, they were five and eleven last year, so that wouldn't have been that I, crazy. But, but I think this seems—I just think they're better this year. I think the defense is is significantly better than the offense, but I think the offense improves. I mean, as long as you're not number thirty in yards per play, like well, yeah, they'll, be, they'll go up. They'll, yeah, you they'll go just up. be better. 